I'm Jadea Murray, and here on a positive note, we highlight the most heartwarming stories from all around our tri-state that move and inspire us. Now, we just experienced the first full week that our newest administration held office, and regardless of how you feel about them personally, we all have to acknowledge what a historical moment this is. When Kamala Harris, the Vice President of these United States of America, was sworn into office, you got the sense that the spirit of all girls, their mothers and grandmothers across the globe, and even the ancestors were lifted. Do you think maybe you can be vice president? No, I think I can be president. <laughs> People who saw the inauguration last week are still talking about Amanda Gorman, the youngest poet to ever perform at an inauguration at just 22 years old. Braved the belly of the beast. We've learned that quiet isn't always peace. Sources say Amanda was given earrings and a caged bird ring by none other than the Oprah Winfrey. She was definitely channeling her inner Dr. Maya Angelou up there. And of course, we can't forget how our tri-state was represented the entire day. You know these two Bronxites, J-Lo and Supreme Court Justice Sotomayor, but did you notice this young man performing his heart out alongside Justin Timberlake? Do you get a phone call that, that says, we want you at the inaugural? H how does it happen? I get a call randomly from Justin saying, hey, we did it. I'm like, what did we do? He's like, we just got offered. You know, I'm not sure if you're busy or not to perform at the inauguration. I'm like, I'm not busy at all. <laughs> Man, I almost dropped the phone when he told me it was, it was just nuts. It is not the only dream come true this year for the Willingboro native who is Grammy nominated for his debut album, Happy to Be Here. What did yeah. you want your first album to say about you? It's called Happy to Be Here, but that's like, and it's not just the album title, it's honestly a way of life um, that I've been, uh, that I've kind of phrased this, this, this phase of my life. All the things that God has allowed me to, to, to see and, and be present for, I had to be absolutely happy to be where I was at to then go to where I wanted to get to. Clemens was working as a server in a restaurant in South Jersey just four years ago when he decided to go for his dream of making music and moved to Los Angeles. He has since collaborated with Kanye West, Pharrell Williams, in addition to Timberlake and many others, but credits his hometown as his greatest musical influence. Willenborough is the mecca to me of like just cultural music and just where you can really figure out what you want to do and the different options of music. It's jazz, it's, it's, it's folk, it's Christian, it's gospel, it's pop, it's rock, it's R&B. It was the training grounds, to say the least, to get me prepared for the future that I wanted. We experienced history last week. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about that. Looking forward now, the teenagers of our region are proving time and time again that our future is in great hands. A high school student from Oakland, Bergen County, New Jersey, just created Teen Health 101, a whole website dedicated to give young people easy to read resources about their health. Valerie Guevara is a student at Indian Hills High School in Oakland. The website, teenhealth101.org, started as an English class project and grew into all of this. It's an online student-led multimedia platform. It teaches teens about health in a way that's super easy to understand. A lot of teens are on social media, so I kind of realized how dangerous it is for the, all this like, spread of misinformation to be targeted towards them and how like, that's kind of contributing to like, um, negative body image. I kind of wanted to create a sort of platform that teens, all teens could use that kind of provides accurate but at the same time kind of simplified information so like teens can understand it. Five more teens around town are also making positive strides in the world of STEM as finalists in the rigorous Regenerating Science Talent Search. Jared Elon goes to Byram Hills High in the Hudson Valley. His research is on the potential of using decellularized plant-based scaffolds for culture meat production. Michael Pavlicek, a student at Ossining High School, conducted lab and computer research identifying two genes responsible for the production of certain cells that cause allergic reactions. Rebecca Monge from Carmel High School analyzed and plotted climate change data and revealed areas of Norway and Greenland that are key drivers in Arctic warming. Lucy Zah attends the Wheatley School in Old Westbury, New York. 
Lucy's research is on the combined potential of plant-based chemicals on cells that can cause childhood cancers as well as their effects on hypothalamic cells. And last but not least, we have Justin Shen, a student at Jericho High School. Justin researched how an amino acid found in green tea reduces the toxicity of a pollutant found in drinking water. Wow, that's a lot of brain power and you don't even have to know what all of this means to be impressed by all of these young people. There are just five among 40 high school seniors competed for up to $250,000 and scientific bragging rights. So good luck to everyone. A Gloucester County man literally eating, breathing, and sleeping community service pledged to stay in his traveling pantry for 22 hours a day this week to make sure he could serve as many hungry people as possible. Pasta, sauce, rice, and then canned goods. What started out as a little pantry on Barney Corgan's front lawn. I made it, I stuck it out front. Uh, I put a Facebook post up about it and people started leaving donations now covers rooms in his house. Corrigan says when his catering business took a hit in the pandemic, he saw a need in his Westville community for food. And that's how Barney's place began. Baby stuff over here, toothbrushes. Nine months later, and the pantry is helping hundreds of families a month with donations pouring in. So much so that they were given this truck to help their cause. And now this truck, Barney hopes, is the key to the next step in helping others. I've been in here since Sunday and I'll stay here until we have a building. In order to be able to expand, the pantry is in need of a more permanent location. And in order to raise that money, Barney is spending 22 hours a day inside this truck here behind me with people pledging donations by the hour and the day. This is my home for now. People are donating by the hour or by the day. Uh, starting at 10 cents. So, uh, you know, do a dollar a day and I'm in here for 30 days, it's $30. Uh, we have a GoFundMe set up and a Venmo on our website too. A permanent home, he says, could just help change more lives. We, we refuse so much stuff. I, people want to give milk and eggs and we have a college fridge like this big in the garage and it, it stinks, you know, like we could, we could just get a lot more things and, and we've turned down refrigeration because we just don't have the room for it. But to be able to have a building to where we can store everything and it's it's organized and it's, you know, oh, it would just be amazing. They say kids don't listen to what you say, but watch what you do. And it seems these two ladies in Brooklyn have taken a page out of Barney's book. Street lights, people. 13-year-old oh. Jolie Wasserman and 9-year-old Scarlett Davini are singing their hearts out in virtual cabarets to raise awareness and money for Voices to End Hunger. And the fact that COVID happened and people are losing jobs and stuff, we thought it would be most appropriate to raise awareness for hunger because... Well, it makes me feel incredible to help other people, to give them what they need to survive. The Talented Two will be singing in another show ahead of Valentine's Day if you'd like to tune in and donate to their cause. And they're not the only talent we have in our area. This week, we're putting two residents in a positive light for the incredible gifts they've been blessed with. First, we have Rolanda St. Felix, a young poet and author from the Bronx whose book Purposeful Growth is a beautiful collection of coming-of-age poetry. Women are strong, but sometimes you want to take the load off. Open the doors for me, hold my hand, be a man. Understand that it's not easy being a woman, especially a black woman. The weight of the world on your back, the pain, the agony, the disrespect, the neglect. No way should we be treated like that. Keep your head held high. It is okay to cry, wipe your eyes, let it fly. You were made for this. Ancestors paved the way for this, for you to know and never be afraid to show your beauty, you are strength. The S on your chest stands for superwoman, that crown on your head stands for queen. You are the epitome of heaven sent. Purposeful Growth is available now on Amazon. Meanwhile, Pearls Thompson, also from the Bronx, is giving us a self-love remix on Jasmine Sullivan's In Love With Another Man. But baby, it's not, it's not, not that easy. I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm in love. And I love me, I'm in love with me, yeah. I choose me, cause I love me. See, 
see where I'm from. Yeah. We call that singing, <laughs> not singing. Every week, I'll be showing you a few residents from around our tri-state in a positive light like this. You and your talent could be next. Just send me an email with who you are, where you live, and attach a short video or a few photos of what you do.